All right, um, this program here represents um, a way of using the um, select all method. So when you you know either tab into a text box or click on it, you know it'll automatically light it up. So so you know you start typing on it. I guess you can type that. I don't remember. You know anyway, it gives you a retail. Price, you know, cheesy little example, but the point was is to you know make your text box behave like that. You know, it's kind of crazy they don't have this as just like default built-in option into a text box even to this day. Um, but let's take a look at the code behind that, shall we? Now, you know, if you go to the text box, you know, you see those have these default. You know, it's telling you what to type in. That's the wholesale price, and that's the markup. Okay, um, now if you go to the text boxes themselves, uh, there's really nothing special about the properties, but I do have events in here. Um, the enter event, you know, so I have one of the click event and the enter event. In fact, it's got the same event for both of those. So, you know, if I click on that, Okay, that takes us to the event for this text box. In fact, both of those text boxes use the same event. So it's actually four events tied to this, two in each text box. Um, but it basically comes through and does, you know, equal sender as text box. So we're deciphering the object, uh, which may or may not be necessary. I don't know. Again, I'm still trying to learn this .NET crap. Um, or the Windows crap, really. But, you know, I'm just basically, you know, using the select all method. Uh, you know, earlier I didn't think they had that method anymore, but they actually do. You know, because I saw another program that used this method, and I was like, well, that's kind of crazy. You know, because in Visual Basic 6, you know, you did have a select all method. Uh, but I think that was with a max, max text box or something that I was seeing that. But, no, as it turns out, on regular text boxes, they do have a select all. So you really just, you know, have it select all, and that's it. You know, um, event over. So, um, but it's as simple as that, and like I said, it may even be simpler. I, I don't really know for sure if you need to actually do this or not, but you might. Um, I don't know if just a regular raw object would have a select all of it or not. Let's, uh, let's see if it does. Nope, <laughs> it doesn't. So, you know, you do have to cast it as a given value, apparently. Uh, there may be other easier ways of doing it, though, that I'm not aware of. Because <coughs> I, I don't think you can just go text box select all. Um, nope. But again, there may be other ways of doing it other than having to assign it to a temporary variable like this. <coughs> so, anyway, but, you know, it, it, it's, you know, it just good to do that, you know. Um, I just like text boxes behaving that way, generally. Sometimes it gets in the way, but, you know, generally, it's good. It's good. It's good.